especially now, in what will be your final moments in this world? All the rumors, the human sacrifices, the hell people, the demons, it's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us, starting now. Welcome to the UNC's Mars installation, located in the vast Hellas Plain in Athens. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the UOC. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Thank you for your service. We have to contain this.
imagine, it is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. We spent decades perfecting the science, selling it to humanity. We balanced their hell energy with our science, making it usable and safe. We solved an energy crisis the world had no answer for. It works. You cannot do this.
rip and tear until it is done.
committed to helping you close the portal. All of our work and understanding of their world is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest days of the program. We call it the Helix Stone. It is our most closely guarded asset. Olivia was obsessed with it. From it, we learned how to manipulate Hell's energy, bend it to our will, take advantage of their resources. It also led us to you. The Helix Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. For years, Olivia has kept the Helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs, which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. Your affinity for guns is apparent. I'm confident you'll find something useful there as well.
led them to his tomb. Please. We can overcome this. I promise. The gate will be opened as planned. The Crucible. That's what she was looking for. Vega, did you get the location? Yes. It is located in an uncharted region of the Titan's realm. But we'll need to rupture another Argent accumulator to create the portal. The only accumulator in this sector is in specimen CD-587. <laughs> You're going to have to remove it.
Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cassandra Sanctum for this reason. I knew she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks, and I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. field, 
but you should survive the surge.
so much.
This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. But the enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve.
Entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. Your super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location.
006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed. But then he came. He cut through them like, like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom.
cannot kill the priests. You know our wars. Despite their transgressions against the government, they are still of sinful blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you. written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. require assistance in order to locate the final Hell Priest. I believe Dr. Hayden can help us with our search. I will calibrate the portal to the Ark's command station. Dr. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters of the Resistance. The entrance into Dr. Hayden's outpost is blocked. Two peripheral turrets identified, calculating optimal firing path. Confirmed. You can use both turrets to clear a path. I will mark them for you. One moment. Override successful.
There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG-10,000, designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden, has part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the BFG-10,000 now. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars.
here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse.
This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 007. March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The Slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now.
has come us. The sightless judge. It determines who is fit to begin the soul extraction process. The rest will be discarded to the blood swamps. Once the spirit is broken and enough pain has been inflicted, only when the human has lost all hope will it be transferred to the soul extraction chamber. All your strength. All that rage, and you couldn't save this world from itself. But this time, Earth will be different.
Babylon Maker needs Earth and its souls. Her world is dying. The culling allows her people to replenish their resources and survive. As you save your world, you put hers in peril. The Con Maker is awakening the Icon of Sin. With it, she will consume Earth and then everything inside of this known universe. That power is too unstable for anyone to control, even her. You must get to Erdak and finish this.
Warning, the Seraphim's chamber key has been removed. The Slayer has the key. This facility will self-destruct in five. Four. Seraphim cannot retrieve the sphere. It's forbidden. I have the Blood Swamp's location online. Be grateful. Despite your transgressions, you are given the honor to serve the gods yet again. Objective.
Who states that you're going to destroy the sphere, not retrieve it? That is not, sir, what Dr. Hayden, the, uh, the Seraphim, has requested of us. life sphere. He'll take physical form if you do this. Evacuate now! 
Assuming you want to use that orb to go to Erdak, right? This is an emergency. Please evacuate the facility now. So long as you have a life sphere, you can get through to Erdak. Your portal signature will read like you're one of them. Listen, whatever we do, I'm in. You want to wake the devil not so you can help the demons, it's so you can kill their leader once he's taken physical form. And that'll destroy all of them. For good.
consequences of your actions here are irreversible.
son's curse has been lifted. And I atone for my sins.
into the most ancient part of hell. The Dark Lord will be there waiting for you.